Hey guys, Mr. Jalapeno here. On today's episode of Jalapeno Maintenance, I'm gonna show you how I repaired this weather stripping on the side of the garage. First thing you'll wanna do is get a few screws, just make sure you get them long enough so that they catch the trim behind the weather stripping. I also recommend you use screws that don't rust. Just make sure the screw goes into the weather strip so it creates a little dimple. You could also pre-drill, it's up to you. The reason why I say it to make a little dimple so you could feel it with caulking, I'll show you here in a little bit. You can see when I put the screw in how the little nails they used before kind of popped out. I set the nails back in and they're not popping out anytime soon thanks to the screws I put in there. Then I cut out the old caulking that was cracking out and I cleaned up the area a little bit. I'm gonna use extreme stretch caulking here in this project. It expands 600% so in case there's a little bit of movement, it won't crack out as easily. I always recommend having a wet rag when applying caulking. It helps with the mess and it also helps my finger kind of glide over the caulking smoothly. So a wet rag is very essential. And then look, remember how I said to make little dimples on the screws? I fill them with a little bit of caulking and then I use my six inch putty knife to kind of smooth them out. The caulking is going to help with any moisture getting in there and also the paint is going to create another layer. So just double whammy there. So the homeowner provided the paint, but unfortunately after a few months, especially on the exterior, it's not going to match. The sun, the weather, it just kind of fades out the paint and even if it's the same exact paint, it's not gonna match 100%. I'm just gonna paint the right side corner to corner, that way there's not gonna be any paint difference. One thing I did forget to mention is to let the caulking dry for about an hour or two. If it's not dry, you're just gonna pull it with your paintbrush and you don't want that. And that's pretty much it. If I would've just painted the bottom of the trim there where I did the repair, it would've been very, very noticeable. That's kinda why I did corner to corner. Better end product, I think. Jalapeno Solutions, boom.